And for more on the decision of Hillary Clinton's former staffer to take the fifth, we are joined now by Washington Toast reporter Rosalind Hel uh, Helderman. Thanks for joining us, Rosalind. Thanks for having me. All right, so you've been following this story very closely. We have all have a constitutional right not to incriminate ourselves and plead the fifth. That doesn't mean you're guilty, but it sure makes it look like you've got something to hide. What do you think here? Are they trying to hide something, or do you think they're just trying to be difficult given the quote-unquote difficult political environment? Well, you, when you say they, you have to be really clear. This was a decision made by Mr. Pagliano. He does not work for Hillary Clinton's campaign. Uh, we're told that he continues to be a contractor for the State Department, but he's a he's a private citizen uh, who is not under the control of Hillary Clinton. He has his own lawyer who is giving him his best legal advice that it's not a good idea for him while there is this FBI investigation open uh, to go and answer questions before Congress. And, you know, uh, everyone hears it on TV. It is true that you always have that right to take the fifth. It does not necessarily mean uh, he's done anything wrong. And, you know, I, uh, there's a top Hillary Clinton aide who's uh, testifying on the Hill uh, today, uh, they would say that's a sign that uh, they, they would like their aides to testify. Yeah, and, and we'll get to that. We'll talk about Cheryl Mills in just yeah. a second. But, you know, does this person uh, know anything that could prove Hillary Clinton did or did not do anything wrong? That's why I don't understand uh, why they would take the fifth. If, if so of course, of course, we don't really know what he knows and what he doesn't, right? That's part of the uh, the, the downside for all of us that he uh, is not going to be testifying. Um, uh, what we have reported about Mr. Pagliano is he was an IT guy. He had run the IT for her 2008 presidential campaign, uh, and then was hired first onto her leadership pack, her political action committee, and later on at the State Department to maintain the private server at her uh, house in Chappaqua. So obviously, she had uh, a so lot of trust for him. She's he's not just an IT guy, if he's the one being tapped to set up her personal IT Sure, system. and I would certainly think he, he would know the answers to some of the questions that a lot of people have been asking, like what kind of security was there it, from a technological standpoint? What kind of security was there on, on that server? How did it operate? Who else knew about it? Right. Who had and that's access the type of information you think would help uh, clear up some of the you know, remaining concerns about this. Let's talk about Cheryl Mills a little more. She has been on sure. the Hill testifying about Benghazi in 2012. Since she is supposedly the one person who has the ability to say no to Hillary Clinton, obviously she's closer than the IT guy. Why wouldn't she be the one pleading the fifth? Uh, that's really hard to know. And, you know, for one thing, uh, she, she testified today behind closed doors. Her people say that she wanted to testify in public. We, we don't yet have any information about whether it's possible she, in fact, did take the fifth uh, in response to certain questions. But mm. until we hear one way or the other, let's assume that she didn't. Uh, and, you know, maybe it's possible that she's more in tune to the political consequences for Hillary Clinton. Obviously, it is not good for Hillary Clinton from a political standpoint to have an aide plead the fifth. Right. And so she, she may be more aware and as a closer confidant uh, sort of care more about that than the IT guy who doesn't work for her and is off, you know, having his own life now. Uh, well, that's an excellent point. Rosalind uh, Helderman, thanks so much for being with us from The Washington Post. We know you'll keep your eye on this story. We'd love to have you back sometime. Thanks for having me. It's our pleasure.